Welcome back. Well, for many, having a baby comes with great concern that their baby will inherit genetic disorders that run in the family. As a survivor of congenital heart disease myself, I too worried about passing along a heart defect. But now there are ways to test for and prevent such issues. Here with more, Dr. Arash. Good morning. Thank you for being with us. Good morning. Okay, tell us a little bit about PGD testing and why this is so important, how the technology is advancing so fast. Well, pre-implantation genetic diagnosis is essentially looking at a, an inherited condition in the embryo uh, that inherited condition can come from the mother, from the father, or from both, and uh, essentially being able to detect it prior to implantation, embryo implantation. Uh, there are a number of uh, genetic conditions that are dominant, meaning that uh, it, it's sufficient for one copy to, co to cause the disease, and some others are recessive where you have to have both copies from mother and father to uh, have the condition. So, for, so that people understand, what we're talking about is doing IVF and creating these embryos first outside of the body if you have great concerns about uh, issues that you might pass along like heart disease, uh, diabetes, or things even much more serious uh, that could lead to massive problems for this child, you would test the embryo before implanting it into the mother's uterus. Exactly. So what we do is we are a genetic testing laboratory, so we receive a biopsy, a one cell depends on the stage of the embryo. Some IVF centers will send one cell out of eight at day three. And so we take one cell, we make DNA out, and then we look for the mutations. And we receive uh, several biopsies. We have to make sure that the one that doesn't have the genetic conditions is reported back to the IVF centers so they, they, can, re they can go back to the embryo and then proceed with the transfer. And this is such an amazing technology. I was told when I went through this that for my children, uh, m the heart disease that has been passed along for years in my family could have ended with me because by taking out that one cell and having that tested, uh, we could have prevented, well, they happen to have not been carrying it, but we could have prevented that from happening. Of course, and uh, as you know, there, there is uh, at least 1% of uh, uh, K incidents due to inheritance of uh, a single gene disorder. Okay, so now these are reasons on the screen as to why people might go ahead and do this sort of testing. Uh, advanced maternal age, unexplained infertility, just not being able to get pregnant, a history of miscarriage, or as we're talking about right now, genetic diseases. Exactly. So in terms of uh, 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 patients that have uh, difficulty getting pregnant, that is due to chromosome copy. It's essentially different type of problems. And what we do in the lab is we, we count the chromosomes. Uh, each uh, normal um, individual will have 22 pair of chromosomes and XX for a female, XY for male. Any deviation from that will cause the embryo not to implant. And if it does implant, then it may lead to miscarriage. And, in, and if that goes all full term, then you will have a baby with an inherit with the uh, uh, chromosome abnormality, abnormality such as uh, right. trisomy mm -hmm. 21. Okay, there's so much more to talk about on this subject. We're flat out of time, so we're going to have you back on our 10 p.m. show talk, uh, tonight to talk about it a little more. Thank you so much, Thank Dr. You. Arash. Thank you. All right, well, still to come.